a brief look at the future of automation uh, because it says so. All right, we're going to take a quick look at the latest from System76. Uh, this is Pop! OS based off the Ubuntu LTS 18.04. System76, of course, is based here in the States in Colorado, Colorado, and they make uh, terrific System76 machines. A uh, quick, disc quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video by System76. I do not run System76 machines. I'm just doing this because I like what I see from Pop! OS. All right, so this is the default desktop here. If you've taken a look at GNOME desktops before, nothing unusual. This is probably one of the lightest, simplest implementations of the GNOME desktop I have tested in a long, long time. I've tested Pop! OS before. It was light then in 17.10 version, and it's light right now. So let's take a quick look at the usual top panel. The one thing about the GNOME desktop, you cannot customize this out of the box without um, well doing some tweaks such as installing the tweak tool going to the gnome extensions website and praying <laughs> that the that the, the the extensions you like will install and not break your system uh, for beginners um, I suppose it can be for beginners if you do not want to customize your desktop whatsoever but I guess that's going to be a personal preference. But let's take a look at this and see what we have. You have the shortcuts to the right. This is one thing I have never found intuitive. No matter what shortcut you hit, you click on, whether it's power, sound, network, it goes to the same drop down menu. Uh, I suppose this is okay. But yeah, I mean, if I click power, let me go to the power setting, sound, let me go to the sound setting immediately. But it works like this. If, so if you want to go to the settings, click and then click the spoke wheel. And everything you want is to the left. Um, and I just one of those things that I, I never found this quite that intuitive, but it's not that difficult to learn. Again, it's just a personal preference. Self explanatory shortcuts Wi Fi, Bluetooth, uh, background, notifications, search, and so on. If we go to privacy, I notice that location services is ticked off by default. And I'm assuming with the full install, this will also be toggled off by default. Let's go down to uh, details. And Pop! OS 18.04. I am running this on a rather outdated Lenovo desktop, but super reliable. One of these days I'll upgrade the office here. Uh, date and time, users, and default applications. Activities. We have multiple desktops. And this is how the installer starts up. I will not be installing this. I am running simple screen recorder. Seems all right. I'll, I'll, I'll play it back and hopefully it did, it, it, did, it did record okay. All right, we can click X out of that. And you can choose between multiple workspaces. Some favorites, shortcuts to the left. Of course, Firefox, the file manager. Again, uh, self-explanatory. Yeah, I, I know those icons are rather large. I made them large, uh, as you see here. And you can change um, change the arrangement. Desktop, documents, again, simple stuff here. Uh, let's hit the super key. And let's take a look at the uh, pop shop. I like that, the pop shop. I like this uh, software center. It's nice and colorful and simple. I installed, uh, I tested this, installing Kazam, simple screen recorder, Audacious. I did not have any issues uh, installing at least in live mode. So um, pretty simple stuff here. Installed home or checking the installed software. All right, let's hit the super key again. Uh, let's see, let's go to show applications. Again, not a lot is installed. This is, as I stated in the past, one of the best, quickest implementations of the GNOME desktop I have tested in years. Um, pretty simple stuff here, not a lot uh, installed. Of course, you can always install uh, software later. Uh, utilities, uh, let's see, Office, of course, LibreOffice installed by default. Uh, system, 
system monitor resources uh, about 60% or so CPU usage is pretty good for GNOME desktop and less than 2 gigs of RAM worth of recorder that is lightweight I think it is for a GNOME desktop so overall very nice implementation um, you know what that's pretty much it there's not a lot installed here it's not meant to be and it runs great at least in a live test I may install this in a uh, I'll do a full install test on one of my machines but this definitely feels zippier the most GNOME or GNOME uh, desktops. Very solid so far with Pop OS 18.04. Well, I'm going to end it here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll have all the links below in the show notes. If you would like to support the channel, well, you can do so through PayPal. If you want to sponsor a live event, why not? Send me an email. TotalOS today at gmx.com. That's all I have for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.